This is Haytham from SuperchargerPerformance.com. Today I'm going to show you how to use the power calculator to calculate the dimensions or design your 4 to 1 header. Let's take a look here. This is a 4 to 1 header which is used on 4 cylinder cars. They also call this a tri Y header because if you look at the illustration here there's one Y pipe here where it connects the two branches, the two primary pipes. There's another Y pipe here and there's a third one downstream here. And so using these three Y pipes, we connect four uh, cylinders worth of exhaust gas down into two. You see the two branches down here, and then down into one and out the collector. What we say, what we call these here, these are our primary pipes coming off the cylinder. And these are secondary pipes where each two uh, individual primary pipes meet. So this is our secondary pipe, and then this is our collector outlet which is where all the exhaust gas coming off this this engine or this half of the V8 engine also this works for V8 or four cylinders gets collected and sent out to the uh, remainder of the catback exhaust system all right so what we're going to do today is we're going to calculate the or design a header a 421 header for a basic street car and then I'm going to do the same calculations for a uh, modified race car and I'm going to show you the difference between the two and how that's going to affect performance. The thing you have to notice here is that at each point where these two pipes merge, so down here and all the way down here in the back, at each one of these points there's an opportunity for the exhaust gas coming off one cylinder to send a reflected wave all the way up to the other cylinder creating vacuum behind the exhaust valve on the other cylinder helping pull more air out from that cylinder. And so this is what we call exhaust scavenging where one cylinder helps pull exhaust from the other cylinder or this where this branch here helps pull air from the other branch here and now the reason this works so well is that we couple cylinders in a way that makes sense if you look at um, if I count off from here this is cylinder number one this is cylinder number two this is cylinder number three and this is cylinder number four then you'll see that the firing order for this engine is typically one three four two let me say that again cylinder number one fires then number three then number four then number two what this means is that between cylinder number one and number four cylinder three fires and between cylinder number three and number two cylinder four fires so that makes cylinders one and four operating out of phase and that makes cylinders two and three operating out of phase and so when we take these out of phase cylinders and we connect them with equal length exhaust pipes then a pressure wave of exhaust coming out of this cylinder at a calculated RPM corresponding to this pipe length will reach this cylinder out of phase which means that the pressure here will reach the cylinder as vacuum and then the same happens between these two cylinders and the same happens between this branch and that branch so we're using the exhaust gas pressure because as you know um, any wave consists of two parts one part is the pressure side or the high side of the wave and then the other side is going to be the vacuum side or the lowest point in the wave and so the exhaust gas coming out of here has a vacuum coming out behind it and that vacuum is going to pull more air from this branch here and that's how it works so we're going to talk, uh, let me just redo that again, 1, 3, 4, 2 is our firing order, and so we couple cylinders 1 and 4, and 2 and 3 on this engine. Most 4 cylinders have the same firing pattern. Um, if your engine has a different firing pattern, then you have to know that so that you can know when you're designing your header which, um, which branches to couple to each other to get your performance advantage. Now the other thing to notice here is that we have two sets of pipes. We have our primary pipes, which are the shorter pipes up here and then we have the secondary pipes which are the longer pipes down here and so the length of pipe from the exhaust valve actually not from this uh, not from this uh, flange but actually all the way the distance from the exhaust valve to this junction here decides one of your tuned RPMs where you're going to get a bump in volumetric efficiency due to this effect of scavenging between cylinders and then the other length is going to be the length from your exhaust valve all the way down to here and so if you're looking at a simple 4 to 1 header, then you always hear a discussion about a shorty header that's designed for higher RPMs and a long tube header that's designed for lower RPMs. When you use a 4 to 1 header, you're kind of combining a hybrid between those two designs where these shorter pipes give you the advantage that a shorty header would give you at high RPMs, and then these 
the longer pipe, which is the combined length of the primary and the secondary, would give you a bump similar to what a long tube header would. And so a 4-2-1 header, or a tri-y header, is a more streetable header that'll give you a more uh, higher average power, a higher average torque throughout the power band and higher average horsepower, but it won't give you as high a single peak at a single RPM because we're um, kind of diluting the exhaust gas energy between two different RPMs rather than focusing all that scavenging energy on a single RPM point. All right, so that's the theory, and I hope you followed me through that. I'm going to go ahead and show you the calculations.